cards we have the cards for make music if you look at uh, here you can see that uh, this particular project is divided into small activities like playing a drum make a rhythm animate a drum make a melody and so many others so if you look at the first category play a drum so this is the backdrop that we are going to use and this is the sprite that we are going to take and to this particular sprite we have to give this instruction set when spacebar is pressed that time it has to play the sound low tom and here they are showing that when we press the spacebar so this particular block will execute in order to begin this activity we are going to start the scratch application and for this particular activity we will uh, be using the drum sprite so from the sprite library in the search box we can search for the drum and we can take this first one the cat sprite is not required so we can delete it and here we will be taking a backdrop also so from the library in the search box we can search for a theater and we can take this one and once we do that we can place the sprite accordingly anywhere and now is the time to give the instructions so from the events category the first instruction that when spacebar is pressed and uh, from the sound category we are going to take the second instruction which says start sound low tom so now every time we are going to press the spacebar it's going to play the drum sound for us like this moving further the next is make a rhythm and for this particular activity we are going to use the same backdrop we are going to use the drum tabla and here is the instruction set that we are going to give to this particular sprite that uh, when spacebar is pressed so it is going to play two sounds the first one is the high note and the second one is again the high note and it is going to wait for like one fourth of a second 0 0.25 seconds every time and this particular instruction is going to repeat for three times because it is inside the repeat block and in the text box we have given the value as three so every time you are going to press the space bar so it is going to play this rhythm for us and here on the scratch application going to the sprites library in the search box we are looking for drums and we can take this last option drums tabla we can delete the cat sprite as this is not required for this particular activity and we will be taking the backdrop also so from the backdrop library in the search box we can search out for theater and we are going to use the same theater as we have done before also and now is the time to give instructions to this tabla set basically and so from the events category we are going to take the first uh, instruction for our uh, activity that when spacebar key is pressed and from the sound category start sound uh, and there is a drop down menu and we can choose the high note from there multiple options are available we can choose another also and after playing a particular sound it is supposed to wait for some time so by default it is one we are going to wait for like 0 0.25 you can use such variations by changing the time and uh, after that we are going to take one more sound block and we are going to take any instruction i'm using the same one here you can try such variations and again we will be taking the wait instructions and 0 0.25 seconds for the same also and if we join it together with this so it is going to play only one time when you are pressing the space bar so in order to repeat this multiple times we will be using a repeat block so as was shown in the cards so here in the control category we have the repeat 10 times we can change the number here according to our convenience i'm using three right now so if we join it back inside the repeat block so when now when you press the space bar it is going to repeat the sound three times like this moving further on the cards we have animate a drum so basically we are going to change the drum set here and take this one and here in the instruction set you can see that we have added one more instruction which is next costume which will be uh, you know executed after both the play sound instructions and uh, that means basically every time the drum is going to play a sound it is going to change the costume also and after that it is going to wait for some time and repeat the same process again and further in the drop down list of the sound uh, here you can see that we are using the high note and in the second one we are going to use the low note of the drums also you can notice that inside the when spacebar key pressed we have changed the key and we are using left arrow button now 
And here you can see that going to the sprite library inside the search box, we are going to search out for the drums again. And we are going to take this time the third category of the drums. And we can delete the cat sprite. Again, we'll be taking the backdrop. So from the backdrop library in the search box, we can search out for the theater. And we are going to use the same backdrop here also. Place it accordingly on the game stage. And now is the time to give instructions. So the first instruction from the event category when spacebar is pressed and uh, we, are, we will be changing this particular key this time. And for second instruction from the sound category that uh, play the high note. And after that, it is supposed to change the costume also and further wait for some time and then play the low note of the drums. So going to the looks category, taking the instruction next costume will help us uh, switch the costumes automatically. And after that, we are going to wait for like 0.25 seconds. You can add increase or decrease the time up here to add such variations. And we are going to repeat the same set of blocks one more time. Uh, but this time it will be for the low note of this particular drum. So again, it will change the costume and it is supposed to wait for 0.25 seconds. So you can drag and drop or you can just right click and duplicate like this and join them together on and further join the complete set of instructions to the when spacebar key is pressed. And here you will notice that uh, inside uh, when, you are, when you are going to press the spacebar, it is going to play the drums only one time. So to, you know, repeat it further, we can add either the forever loop or we can use the repeat block also. So here in this scenario, we are using the repeat for four times. So this instruction set to be given inside this. So now when you're going to press the space bar, it is going to repeat such set of instructions and change the costumes on the game stage, as you can see on the application right now. Likewise, from the drop down menu of the first instruction, which is the event when space bar key is pressed, uh, there is a drop down arrow next to that. If you click that, you can change the other keys also. Like right now, I'm playing it with the space bar key. If you give any other key, so you can play using that particular key. Further on the game stage, now you, if you could see the drums, so you can notice that how the next costume is working for us. So that now if we press the space bar, you can look at the drums and how the costumes are changing basically.